Mark Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1543, Sakai Gradebook, Some When Not Blank. Well, hey, welcome back. It's Bill Jellin from MrExcel.com. All this week we've been talking about uh, this gradebook data that we downloaded and how to make that into a nice live model where we can enter new grades. Uh, yet 1541. A uh, free macro to do everything. 1542, how to get the points possible from the headings. Today, I think, is going to be the hardest part, calculating the total possible points for the non-blank cells. Let's talk about what that means. Uh, so if I just needed to figure out the uh, percentage score, 253 divided by uh, the 422, I'll press F4 here to put the dollar signs in, so that way it always refers back to that cell. Uh, we would get our percentage score, but the problem is, the numbers that we're calculating are not anywhere close to what Sakai is giving us. And it turns out that Sakai has this rule that says, all right, hey, this student was not here for this assignment. Uh, so rather than put a zero in, it's blank. And when it's blank, it doesn't include that 40 in the points possible. That's the difference. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an incredible formula. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, possible. And this is the possible per student. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a big if statement here, equal if, and we're going to check to see is blank. All right, is blank. We're going to say if everything from C3 to AE3 is blank. If it's blank, then I want to add a zero. If it's not blank, then I want to use the number from row two. So that's C dollar sign two colon A. E dollar sign two. All right, now uh, why the dollar sign that says that no matter what student we're in, whether we're in row three or row 33, we're always going to reach back up to row two to get the points possible. But that's only when the cor corresponding cell is not blank. All right, now this particular uh, formula is going to return about 29 numbers to me. Some of them will be zeros, some of them will be numbers. Uh, but you know, we can't have a formula that returns 29 answers because we're trying to fit it all in one cell. So I need to wrap that formula in a sum function. A sum function, they'll take all of those answers, all 29 answers, and sum them up. Uh, because this is returning an array of values, we're going to hold down Control and Shift, and then press Enter. Control, Shift, Enter, let's take a look. All right, so there's our 298, and then we'll figure out our um, percentage score is the 253 divided by the 298. All right, 8506, that looks uh, very similar to what we're getting there. All right, to copy these down, now that we have a nice contiguous column to the left, we'll just double click. All right, and it looks like all of our answers here are equivalent to the answers there. This is a heck of a formula here. This, uh, this is called an array formula, where it's evaluating a whole bunch of cells uh, and then passing it on to the sum function. Remember, Control, Shift, Enter in order to pull this off. All right, now, uh, tomorrow we'll take a look at uh, how to convert this percentage score into a letter grade using VLOOKUP. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.